Hey guys, Eric here with Payment Pilot. Going through a quick little demo on setting up recurring payments and also invoicing. So as you can see, once you log into mxmerchant.com, you will click on the sign in tab. All your information should be added there already. Click sign in. There'll be a two-step authentication, which a verification code will be sent to your either text or email. It normally takes just a few seconds here. Perfect. Once you receive that, of course, you'll select your account and on your main dashboard to go ahead and activate the invoicing and recurring payments, you'll go over to the left hand vertical menu, select apps, go to MX invoicing, hit activate. It will ask you to confirm if you would like to purchase the MX invoice. Um, they, it is $14.95 per month, which will be automatically added into your statement each month. Once you hit OK. As you can see, it'll create that invoice and recurring tab on this left-hand vertical menu now. Uh, invoicing basics, you know, of course, this will allow you to create those invoices by just coming up here, adding an invoice, entering customer's name here, entering product, description, price. If you do have the ability to have them pay online, which would give them a link to either pay with a credit card. We also have ACH incurred into our account. So as of course, as you can see, uh, ACH will also be included there. Once you have all this information in there with pricing, you can save and send. This will send that information to the customer in an invoice where they can click on a link to make a payment. And for recurring. This is the big one here. So if you have any service monthly call services, you can create a recurring payment, which uh, by doing so is adding a contract. Now there is that you do have the ability to create a plan, which is fairly simple. You can actually just come back here and under settings, select your invoice feature here. And under recurring, this will give you the ability to create any sort of plan. So if they're all the same, you can add monthly plans and things like this where you can add just a plan here, enter the plan name, add an item to add that descriptor of what it is. So monthly service, description of what you do, and then the price itself. Frequency, uh, frequency you can do it weekly, monthly, or yearly. Most of these are gonna be monthly, so you'd select that. And once you do create and save that plan, for example, on ours, if we go back to recurring, when you create a contract, you can choose a plan, which will pop up with any of the plans that you've created here. So for this one, we're just gonna do a test plan and it'll ask you, are you sure you wanna apply this plan? You'll hit okay. So once here, creating that contract itself, you will add the customer's name. So for here, we're gonna just go ahead and create a new one. What you'll do is click on, if you didn't see that, we'll go ahead and create or add new customer. You can select either by person or business. So in this case, we're gonna do a business and we're gonna do payment pilot. Once you got the payment pilot in there, you'll hit enter. Your product and description is already going to be included in there because, of course, we selected the plan that was already pre-made. The amount, any memo or notes that you would like to add onto this recurring payment, you could. Now, anytime you want to start a recurring payment, of course, if you want to start the day of when you're creating that application, this is where you'll place it. But let's just say you want to start the first payment on a later date. We'll say next week. That's the day that it's going to hit. Frequency again. If you want to do it weekly, monthly, or yearly, we'll do monthly. Unlimited on the occurrence. Of course, this means that until the customer decides to cancel, then that's we, we can go ahead and do that. You can also just select, you can just leave the occurrence and unlimited. The receipt, you can either select to either always send the receipt, never send, or send once. The occurrence here on the monthly, if you want to do it on the first of every month, you can leave it on that. Or this actually means for every month that you want to charge. So it's every month on what day. You want to do the first, the second, the third, the fourth, or last. Normally, if you select day, you can actually select the day that you want to start. So for example, if we're starting on the 14th here and you want to hit this customer on a monthly basis on every 14th, you'll just type in number 14. Here in the selection of payment, we can go here, add new, and this is where you'll select to either add a credit card. And since we have ACH included, it'll ask us if we want to put a routing number and account number. For most of you guys, if you're just entering a credit card number, you can just hit here. Enter the credit card number, name on the card, and expiration date. You always want to select that it is the primary payment that you're going to be using, and then hit save. Of course, this is going to ask us for numbers here. So once the account is saved, you'll set you'll see it there. And then if you wanted to add any additional documentation to it, you can always upload that document here. And then once you go ahead and click the save and you'll go ahead and uh, select that. 
and then it'll save the contract and the recurring payment. And once it does start and save, of course, you'll see it here. So as you can see, you'll start seeing your frequent ones here monthly on every month on the first, what plan it was, the amount, and then the activation here. The check mark, of course, meaning that it's active. You can see some of the ones that we've had here later on, Pro Fire Safety. Another cool feature that if you do select the, uh, the contract number, it'll actually also give you a history of when those payments started. So as you can see, it's hit every single month on the first. All right. And that concludes the recurring and the easy setup. If you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can always e email me or give us a call here at the office, 704-464-0395. Thanks, guys.